Welcome back to Casey Live. It's time for us to focus on learning here. And as you can see, we brought with us some reinforcements. <laughs> Why, why are you talking like that? Because it's serious. It's so, so very serious. Okay. It's time for a little mad science with Digital Dave and Catalyst. Courtney, good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello. <laughs> now, you guys have been entertaining and educating kids all over the area. What does mad science do? We, do, we actually do science programs for kids all over town. We, our goal is to get kids excited about science like these guys are this morning. They're ready. Hi, yes, guys. Right. We want to get their hands on oh. stuff and we want to show them cool stuff so they see the fun side of science so they stay interested in it and, and grow up to have that as an option for them. Later on. Like you, yeah. you know, because we. The thing I love about this, adults love it too. Adults, yes. Yeah, we had we had them come for my son's birthday party. Yeah. And he's still talking about it two years later. Loves this. Loves mad science. Let's let's, let's let him do let's, it. Yeah, come on, okay. magnetic Michelle. Okay. Let's go sit down. You're magnetic Michelle. I'm molecular Michael. Okay, it's molecular awesome. Michael. Okay. Molecular Michael and molecular magnetic Michael. Michelle. Can we just call you M2? M2, yes. Okay, great. All right. Now, I have brought something really important with me today. Can you, see, can you guys see my flask? Do you know what's in here? No. Something really important, something you couldn't breathe without. What can air? you? Air, yeah, air. there's air inside so my flask, smart. isn't there? Good job, give me five. All right. So smart. So inside, this is actually a really special flask. You know why? Because it's the house of my friend and my lab partner, Egbert. Can you guys say hi to Egbert? Now, Egbert is a great lab partner, and he's really smart, but he's also my friend, and he comes over to my house and helps and watch movies with me on the weekends. But he doesn't like scary movies, because he's, he's a little chicken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 but when he comes to my house, you know what he likes to do when he's watching movies? What? He likes to eat. He eats pizza, and he eats chocolate ice cream, and Oreo <laughs> cookies, and all kinds of stuff. And you know what? He doesn't fit, he didn't, after last weekend, he didn't fit into his house anymore. He can't get in the door. But you know what? Egbert knows a lot about science. He's done a lot of experiments with air, and so what, you know, he figured out he could do? What? He could use the air inside of his house to help him get in. He calls it his escalator. You want to see how he does it? Escalator. Good one. <laughs> well, what Egbert knows is that when you heat up air, when you make it hotter, it gets really big. And the hotter you make it, the bigger it gets. Okay? And so what he's going to do is he's going to hold a couple of matches. And we're going to light them. Whoa. Maybe. Come on, Egbert. There we go. Right, there we go. And you see how all that hot air is coming off of here? And we're going to put... Egg, he's going to hold those matches up inside of his house. Oh, oh. And the air is getting warmer inside there. And you know what's happening? It got hot, <gasps> and now look what's oh, happening. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh, oh he went up in his house. Isn't that great? What'd Let's give think? him a hand. Give him a hand. Nice job, Egbert. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, now, you guys know what this stuff is? What? <gasps> it's really cool. What does it look like? Ice. Ice? It does look like ice, but... And I But do you know what, what is ice made of? Um, it's frozen water, isn't it? Do you see any water dripping off of my ice? No. No, because this is actually even colder than regular ice. It's not like the ice that's in your refrigerator. You know why? Because it's actually frozen air. Have you guys ever seen frozen air before? No. That's what it looks like, frozen air. And you know what? As it's melting, as it's melting, it's actually turning back into air instead of turning into water. So I'm going to put some into this water because air is invisible, right? Oh. But if I put it into this water, Ooh. you can see it coming out of there, can't you? And as long as that ice is down there in the bottom, you can see all the, it's going to keep turning back into air. It's small. And it gets bigger when it gets warmer, doesn't it? Just like the air in Egbert's house. It got bigger. And this, air, <laughs> and this is actually getting about 500 times bigger when it melts. Whoa. So if you hold your hand out, you can see what a cloud would feel like because when hold... Wow. When really cold air goes through warm water, yeah. you get fog. Whew. Whoop. <laughs> Thank well, you. And now you know what we can do with, with fog now that we've got it? What? We can, we can have fun. Because we can put it, this is actually how Egbert takes a bath. You guys like bubble bath? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Egg, Egbert likes it too. <laughs> Give me five. You guys want some in your hand? Hold your hand out if you want some. That's all right. 
that? Isn't that cool stuff? Yeah. It's got all that fog in it. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah. You guys want some? Yeah. But of course. Yeah, I want some. Can I have yeah. some? some. Are you high five? High five. five. Woo! Now you know what else we can do? <laughs> Egbert is really a busy egg because he's my, he's my lab partner. And sometimes he doesn't have time for a, bu a bubble bath. So you know what he does instead? What? He has to take a shower. <laughs> but he doesn't, but he likes to use. Oh, thank you. But he still likes his bubbles. Thank you. So I'm going to show you how Egbert takes a bubble shower, okay? A bubble shower. A bubble shower. So see all my, see all my fog coming out of here? And if I put it in some bubble bath, <gasps> it <gets> bubbles. <gasps> it's frozen. <laughs> It's a frozen bubble. <laughs> if you guys will hold your gloves out, you look, turn around and look back at, at M2 and, Mag, and check, Magnetic check us Michelle. Out. <gasps> and watch what they can do with their gloves. Whoop. Whoop. I popped it. What do you think? <gasps> you guys want a bubble? Cool. I want to pop it. You can pop it? There you go. There you go. I didn't get a touch of a bubble. You haven't got to touch a bubble yet? I want one. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, kids, how excited are you? Help me up. Okay, get up, girl. Get up, girl. That is outstanding. Thank you so much. Did you guys have fun? Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Do you like mad science? Are you excited about science now? Squish it. Squish it. You want to squish it? They want to squish it. They want to squish, they want to squish it. it. I knew the bubbles would be a huge hit, the frozen bubbles. So. Yes. You guys. Oh, awesome. you guys. That is awesome. Oh, that's All right, well, thank you so much for coming in. Obviously, if people want to have you at parties or... They can go, go to our website at www.madscience.org slash Kansas City or talk to Kinetic Kathy. All right, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for coming out and playing along. Did you have fun? Yeah? Yeah. All right. You guys like science? Yeah. yeah. Good. Me too. All right. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Kansas City Live after the break.